Tuesday, September the 11th, those seven. I think this is our fourth talk about Latinos, Hispanics, and incidentally that Smokey Barnes, I, I'm not absolutely sure that he was Latino, Hispanic, but I think he was. To me it makes no difference. But yeah, I mentioned him in this because I thought he was, and gee, what a kid. He went on, incidentally, also to set some records and track throwing that discus and shot in high school. And I think he got a full ride to uh, go up to one of the universities, maybe Colorado University, on an athletic scholarship. Well, time goes by and I'm going to uh, Alamosa, Colorado to be interviewed for the superintendency. Benito Martinez, one of the board members. And the board had lots of questions. A lot of questions where they wanted to lay out a problem and then ask me, can you deal with that if we choose you as a superintendent? Well, by golly, one of those questions had to do with you know, our departing superintendent's a good man. He did a great job. He came to us when we were in a financial bind. Our money situation was desperate, and he's gotten us healthy. But in doing it, he had to cut and cut and cut. Can you keep us healthy financially and build our instructional programs, build our athletics, build our speech and drama, build our band, make it a better and richer high school experience for our kids? Yes, I think I can. Well, you know, they had other questions. One of the big ones was, and this one that ended up giving me a lot of trouble and probably caused the teachers group to come against me and get me out of there after six years. Do we have the right to move teachers around? We've got a situation where there's a lot of bickering among staff about we're the best teachers and we're the best school. And that's a problem today because one of our schools has a predominantly Mexican-American population and we know we better do something about it. I said, you absolutely have the right to assign staff. And yes, I'll help you with that. Well, they had other questions. But I could tell that the odds were pretty good they might choose me. And as the meeting was winding up, one of them said, by the way, do you know anything about September the 16th and the Hispanic Mexican question? No, I have no idea. Well, they said we don't either, but we have been told to expect trouble on September the 16th. Well, I got the job, and one of the first things I did after getting it was look up the police chief and say, Do you know? He said, I am aware also that we have been warned, but I have no idea what it's all about. Interesting. Instead of the board that said housing would be tough, and it was. We lived in a motel. The kids would die at first. Well, hey, this will be neat, living in a motel and eating restaurants on the board expense while we get housing. Boy, after two or three days, one of the kids said, Mom, can't you find a way to cook something? And we ended up living in, all four kids were home. Roy was home from the Navy. We lived in a little not really real little, but a little house trailer for a couple of weeks until one day the phone rang in the middle of the morning and said, the house you want's on the market. Didn't identify who it was, and I probably wasn't supposed to know. One of those cases where we got some specialized treatment because they wanted the new superintendent to be happy. And we got a nice house at 711 Murphy Drive, Alamosa, Colorado. Well, you know, it wasn't very long until September 1969 is just there. That's when I first met Leonard Kajowski in the summer before that and found out that among other things uh, they saved money. He couldn't even guarantee me the school buses could run. Needed tires, needed engine repairs, and ew, we got on that in a hurry. Because I tell you I believe safety is one of the first things the school board and the school superintendent is responsible for. Well, just, I don't know, 
four or five days before September the 16th, Edith Keating, the head secretary, steps in and says, there's a bunch of young men here who want to see you. They don't have an appointment. Will you see them? I said, of course I'll see them. Send them in. Carlo the kids from Colorado University. They came in. They talked very nice, polite, polite well-dressed, neat kids. And said, you got to let out school next week, September the 16th. Well, I can't do that. I'm the new superintendent, the old superintendent of the board set the school calendar. There's no way that I'm going to or could. Well, you better do what you can because you should not have school September the 16th. Well, we finally reached a compromise. Okay, I'll survey the board. I'll call the board members and see what they say. I did, and they said, no. They didn't tell you what it's all about? No. Well, we're not going to change the calendar. Okay.